briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1825, a case called Mills v. Wyman was heard by the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court, focusing on whether past conduct could suffice as consideration for a contract formed after the actions had already taken place. The court determined that promises made in appreciation of benefits previously conferred could not act as consideration. In this case, the plaintiff Mills had provided shelter and comfort for Wyman's son while he was ill and traveling. After the son passed away, Wyman promised in writing to repay Mills for the expenses incurred. However, he did not follow through on this promise, and Mills sought to enforce the agreement. The court ultimately ruled that there was no legal consideration, making the verbal promise unenforceable. The defendant's son had not been under his care at the time and had already left the family for some time. Wyman's promise was deemed to be made on impulse, highlighting how general rules can sometimes result in particular injustices. Furthermore, the court found that a moral obligation alone was not sufficient consideration to support an express promise. Rather, a pre-existing obligation was required. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.